condition any dog in the world to be okay with that. Exercise first. That dog is going to be hungry. Don't feed him dead. Now, come at me in my back! YouTube family, uh, my goal this time in this video is to make sure that we understand how to be more proactive in 4th of July, how to make sure that we understand why dogs develop flight or, or fear or, or uh, even panic and why many dogs uh, often escape from their homes. 4th of July is one of those stressful uh, days in America even though it means Independence Day. It's a very proud um, day for American people. I'm proud to be an American. It's, it's something that I understand and I'm very proud of it. But at the same time, I heard how many dogs escape from their homes and I also see how many uh, sad pet parents feel right after that day. So, 4th of July is 243 years old. And so, my goal is to make sure that that we prepare for 4th of July, that we make sure that we embrace 4th of July, that we make sure the whole family embraces and agrees how to be proactive with a dog. So we all dogs in America, every single dog around the world, understand how to be around firecrackers. Because humans, we like to celebrate with that and it's something that we want them to eventually enjoy. Some, some dogs do get to enjoy it. Some, get, some dogs get to understand that the human likes that stuff. And so they will learn to sleep right next to you just like watching a basketball game with you or some kind of sport. You know, dogs don't understand that that's at a basketball game. What they know is you like it, you enjoy it. And sometimes you scream when you, you, your team loses. So I think we put a really nice piece uh, of, of content for you guys, especially for your dogs. And for, for once and for all to understand how to prevent how to be more proactive on 4th of July and how to make sure that all dogs in America learn and enjoy a 4th of July with us because after all they're our family members and we're very happy for them to be with us. We want to make sure they enjoy everything we celebrate and, and, uh, and honestly a 4th of July without a dog is not too American for me. Dog learn symbolically that these flags on 4th of July means this is about to happen. So they hate 4th of July. Like, no. <laughs> they don't hate 4th of July. It's because the, the, the human doesn't understand the firecrackers to a dog is the same thing as missiles for a human. Mm. See, no one, will, no one will try to feel okay when a missile just passed by your house. Mm. And then the explosion. So do they pick up, but like, let's say the owner like enjoys it, you know, like we enjoy fireworks. So the dog, does the dog pick up on that or no? Yes. The energy of us. Yeah, okay, okay. so it's, it's more normal, it's more normal, uh, Peter, that, that a dog become flight in the presence of something that he doesn't know. Even he doesn't if, know firecrackers. Uh -huh. Understand? Even yeah. though you like them, yeah. okay. you still have to introduce the fact of flight is not an option. You understand? Yeah. It's, 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 it's almost like saying, Peter, if a missile comes right here, don't run. So a dog has has an ingrained, ingrained uh, reaction to something that they don't know, such as fire and loud sounds. <laughs> it's fire. You understand? So the eyes is like, how do I? Yeah. And it's really loud uh -huh. or really. So so that you get you got to get to the point if you want to enjoy for the July, yeah. that a dog feels about those sounds happy-go-lucky or calm surrender. Okay. So that is that, that is the destination. Any other brain outside that is going to have trouble because yeah. it's going to be fight, flight, avoiding. It's, it's like yeah. if you see a mediator, you yeah. know, like, it's coming. Yeah, we're all going to Yeah, yeah you, you're not going to be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, wow. mate did it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So you have to understand how animals look at 4th of July. Yeah. Cats, you're never gonna find cats anywhere, but if they go in hikes, you, everybody knows that a cat is gonna go in somewhere. Mm. And there's no cats like, oh my God, 4th of July again. <laughs> uh, you learned something? That's it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, Peter documents everything I do. You never had a dog. This is the first time you, you, um, you work with someone like me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's yeah. not too many of me. Anyway, there's only one. There's only <laughs> yep. one. 
<laughs> the truth. That's the truth. Yeah. I can't hide that. Listen. <laughs> but what do you learn right now about Fourth of July in dogs? Yeah. We need to learn that they learn and see things differently than we do. Yeah. And we need to prepare for that. Yeah. I mean, everybody, everybody, even our culture changes the way we see things. Mm -hmm. You see, so we have to be respectful of not just the animal in you, the human in you, but the race in you, mm -hmm. right? So we have to respect race, how you Filipinos see life and how we Mexicans see life. We have to understand that part. So if we know that about ourselves, we should know that about human to dog. How does a dog experience for the July? This is instincts. This is conditioning. So a name is a sound that they learn that conditions them to know that that gives them food, water, going somewhere, affection, you understand? Yeah. It's outside learn experience. Uh -huh. This is inside program. The data is already here. You get it? Yeah. So animal dog breed is first before name. You're not introducing for the July to the name of the dog. You're introducing for the July to animal dog breed. And so if you want to do something perfect, focus on the animal. Because all animals will fight, flight, avoid, surrender. A chicken will fight, flight, avoid, surrender. All of them, they will do fight, flight, avoid, surrender. It's not the species. Mm. So if you don't want to focus on the rest, just take care of the animal. Keep the animal calm. So if the animal in them is calm, the species in them is calm. The breed in them is calm. If your instincts are calm, the human in you is calm, the, the Filipino of you is calm, and the Peter name is calm. You understand? Your yeah. instincts are calm. Yeah. yeah, so we have to make a separation of the intellectual world and just keep a dog instinctual, emotional, spiritual. The intellectual is human. Mm -hmm. That's rational. Satellite, what you have in your shoulder, in the backpack, <laughs> my bracelet, these glasses, that's an intellectual creation. Yeah. Dogs would never, would never make glasses for another dog. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can use intellectual... To, con to connect or teach to instinctual, emotional, spiritual. Mm -hmm. It yeah, won't they work. They can't Google what a firework is. They can't yeah. Google exactly <laughs> why. So how do you condition any dog in the world to be okay with 4th of July? Exercise first. That dog is gonna be hungry. Don't feed him there. Wait until the sound and see what, what, what reaction that he chooses, five flight avoidance, which one, right? If he's in that state and then you wave the smell because he's gonna be hungry and he's gonna be tired. That's the first day. So you, you, have, you want to make sure that the body's tired and the mind is hungry. So if fight flight avoidance comes into the picture, you can you can wave a piece of liver, a piece of something really freaking primal. You know what I mean? It's like something like like you a smell they can't resist. Flight with food. <laughs> yeah. So how do you do it? The body's tired. The mind is hungry. Don't bring box things, you know? Crappy kind of treats, those are later. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the anxiety or the fear is not as high. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do when a dog is focusing on fight, flight, avoidance is redirect them to something that can take them to happy-go-lucky, calm surrender. Yeah, well, yeah because 60% of the brain is controlled by the nose, so never go after the eyes or the ears. Eyes is 15, ears is 25. Why would you have the lowest thing in the, in the planet? For me, it's like, for me, it's okay. Tired, hungry, nose. Mm. Tired, hungry, nose. Tired, hungry, nose. Then what? Happy go lucky, calm, surrender. Then I give him the food. So then that sound, ignore, because he's gonna get food for being happy go lucky, calm, surrender. At a certain time, you play the music. Mm -hmm. You follow me? So, then at a certain time, you bring the smell. Mm. So, what you're, what you're playing is with the environment. You are the director of that imprint. So, that day has to be Spielberg, you know, perfection. Could this take every owner a day to put an imprint, you would say, or longer? I would, I would say it would take about an hour. An hour? Yeah, it takes about an hour. Listen, what it's gonna take long is the walk you're about to do. Mm. Okay, so so that walk, okay, so that most people walk 15, 30 minutes, very few, one hour. But if, if that day before the 4th of July, okay, before 4th of July, you 
you go for at least two to three hours walk watch what happens the 4th of July mm-hmm. you, you know because normally he doesn't have the, the stamina the strength so you're gonna take him farther than usual so he by the time he comes home he, his body's gonna say hey go to rehab go to restore and the body's just they just gonna go so by, by the time it hears uh, 4th of July the body is not gonna let him get up you understand the tire is gonna be so heavy so if he gets a little bit, you bring a, a little food, he's gonna go to <laughs> So the preparation is easy. The thing is, do you can you make the time? Because your your friend needs more than thirty minutes. Or the July is about to show up. Yeah. And we all knew it, but nobody planned for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So dog has to go out to drain energy, come back, and now you expose him to things that are more likely for him not to be natural, not to feel natural, which is 4th of July. No other species in the world uses missiles. So let me ask you this. If I don't have three hours to walk my dog, can yeah. I introduce him to, if I never take him swimming, or if I, can I take him on a different path that he's never on that will change his energy level because he's excited to be on an hour long hike or he's swimming for the first time for 45 minutes? Is it well, the same if thing? Anything new is, anything new is, going, to, is going to challenge the mind uh, more than ever, obviously, right? So if a dog never swims in his life, 15 minutes of trying to survive in the water, because that's what they're gonna do, you know what I mean? Right. Never swim, they, they go through that process of like, I never swim, I never swim. If you, if a good way to use the brain is when you, when you challenge them into new things, where the brain is, is gonna go to fight, flight, avoidance and recover. Okay. You understand? So, and gymnastic, right? So, yep. uh, <laughs> You go, you train, and you get to a point where it's like, I want to quit, right? I want to quit. You can't quit. Give me another tumble. <sighs> so that, that part is more draining than four hours at the gym. And that's what makes that kid better. Get it? Yep. So challenge is healthy, especially before the July. That's my point. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not going to challenge the dog the rest of his uh, year, 4th of July has to be the most um, fulfilling week of his life. His body is going to be taken care of, his mind is going to be taken care of, and his heart is going to be taken care of. He's going to go to sleep like a baby every day, and he's going to hear firecrackers before he goes to sleep. See? So that way, it's like, damn, 4th of July feels so special. <laughs> Can't wait. My humans take yeah. a vacation <laughs> so I can do exercise, discipline, affection, and go to different parts of LA or, or America. That's how you change the frame of mind of anybody, you know? Yeah. Because we've, a week before, he's getting the best time of his life. Because throughout the year, the human walks in 15 minutes a day. He comes back home like super tired, depressed, anxious angry, frustrated. So that human is not going to want to do anything. He's just going to want to give him a cookie, right? A toy, open the backyard, throw the ball a hundred times, come back. Boring, 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 boring. And then get ready for 4th of July. I can't! I can't! We haven't done anything! So very important. If you're gonna use this kind of tool, which is the Thunder shirt, yeah, to be introduced, you know, before 4th of July, they have to learn to wear this tool, this foreign stuff. It's normal for them to be playful. That means you did it right. It's normal for them to try to take it off. It's normal. So what it does is, is it tightens, it tightens uh, uh, around the ribs, which it makes the, it makes the breathing slower. This is an, a nice um, side effect. This is really good. Because she's playing with it. And she's actually um, digesting it. You can see how she's, how do I feel about this? How did this make me feel? So the whole point of the Thunder shirt, is, that's where we were, right? The whole point of the Thunder shirt is to help your dog breathe slower so if you exercise your dog 
your dog is gonna go into a tired state. So it's gonna be easier for you to introduce this tool, especially when it's the first time, because it's not gonna have so much physical energy to try to remove it. So he's gonna enter quicker into resting, right? Because the whole point of this tool, this thunder shirt, is to breathe slower. And when you breathe slower, your heart rate goes down, you go to sleep. You have to lower your heart rate for you to go to sleep. But you will have a good sleep if you exercise and accomplish something that day and you love someone. Now you can go into a resting state. Right? So what we want dog to, to uh, identify with a Tanda shirt is two state of mind. Resting state or sleeping state. Then the shirt is doing his job. So the, the tools that human invent. Pass me a backpack, Hamito. So th this is more outdoor tool, okay? So you, the, the uh, Thunder shirt is for indoor tool. So that means you already went for a long walk. And, and um, thank you, come here. We need to sell backpacks, come here. Come on. <laughs> Junior, good boy. So this, the backpack, it's going to serve the purpose. So if you're the kind of human who only has walked for 30 minutes a day, this is going to give you access for make, making those 30 minutes one hour. Of, of course, we're preparing for 4th of July. We want to make sure at least two hours on that walk. So one cool, awesome way to do a, 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 a good long walk is when a member of your family drops you guys off uh, two hours away from your house. So the so the, uh, the pro the, uh, um, not the project, yeah, the project is that you and your dog are drop off uh, two hours away from home and you both have to come back home. That is super exciting to a dog. Talk about explore, talk about adventure, you know, talk about, talk about you taking the time and also being creative to make sure that your dog is prepared for 4th of July. So imagine two hours with the backpack on, come back home, the dog is gonna say, wow, somebody dropped us off in the wrong place, but we managed to come back. Thanks to both of us. Yeah. Right. So, but because you're going to give those two hours an extra challenge, by the time the dog gets, gets home, he's gonna be tired. So it's, again, it's, it's how to be creative, how to understand how these tools were, were meant for, you know, how, why, why humans invented backpacks, why humans invented, you know, um, Tanda shirts, why humans invented CBDs, uh, CBD, yeah, yeah, yeah. why humans invented CBD or why humans invented anything. The, anything is invention is outside. First you have to go out, spirit, heart, instincts, body, mind, right? And so that way is the preparation is well done and the outcome is exactly what you're looking for, which is a dog to understand that this is the whole point is to feel safe. Thank you, Judy. You were a great model. <laughs> so they're doing an activity, right? That has nothing to do with this. I'm going to capture the nose so she can come to me so I can put a leash on. So what I did right now is she was passing by, I waved the smell and I redirected her. So instead of her keep going with her, her nose is coming to me. So after I got, I got um, Sophia, Stella comes, comes in. Sophia was creating that whole commotion. What's up in Korea? Now we have Sophia on the leash. Thank you, Hamid. <laughs> Watch now that we have the source of excitement. In my personal space. So when you have a pack of dogs, one of them is going to become the strongest energy. It can be fear, it can be anxiety, it can be excitement in this case. So that's the one you put a leash on. But before you put a leash on, 
make sure the nose come to you and then so once the once the nose came to you now they're in a willing state of mind nose eyes ears then you put the leash make sure the leash the brain is is calm and attentive then that that then the leash becomes that as you can see right now her state of mind is still happy go lucky but it's this more happy go lucky next to me versus happy go lucky away from me so i She's still maintaining that state of mind, but now she's practicing next to me in order for us to do the activity that we want to do, which is everybody's quiet before we bring the sounds. I'm going to begin with some uh, sounds that most people don't get nervous or anxious. with firecrackers. So here, Mika is telling everybody else, just by the way she's looking at the speaker, that is a sound that makes in her that's making her feel uncomfortable. Okay? So if we don't address that or if we don't realize that right away, she's gonna tell the whole entire family of dogs that it's something to be concerned about. Right? So it's very important to introduce the sounds at this level. My, my uh, iPhone uh, uh, volume is all the way. So that's, that's the biggest sound, um, the biggest um, volume I can I provide right now. Okay, so can you imagine on 4th of July with the sound and the lights at, at a higher, higher, higher intensity, if they're not conditioned before that, they're not gonna know how to respond in a calm way. But let's go back to, to, um, to this sound. So this sound, Keeps the brain that way. Let's go play again. That's what I'm saying, use a sound that is more likely to have an effect on you prior to practicing this. Right? So most people uh, in their lives have listened to sounds or music or radio station that is for relaxation purposes. Okay? So that is already ingrained inside of you, you already know how to take it, you already know what to do with it. So it's important that you do it with them, you do it with them, so they also feel some kind of guidance about how to react to sounds. So YouTube family are always going to ask you, what did you learn? I just want to know exactly how much you absorb, how much you learn, how much it healed you, all the information, you know, uh, make sure everybody around you, even people that don't have dogs, watch the, watch the, the, the channel to subscribe. Make sure young generations watches the channel. Make sure everybody around your family watches this episode. It's very important that even your neighbors understand how to help your dog. You know, it really takes a village to raise a child. It takes the whole community to help a dog that might have developed the wrong reaction to 4th of July. But at the same time, if we all unite, you know, if all global citizens of the world unite uh, uh, to help dogs, we will know what to do. So 
Uh, we will all be more proactive as a community helping a dog. We will all be walking, doing pack walks together before 4th of July, uh, introducing sounds. You saw the, uh, the different ways I, I introduced 4th of July sounds versus relaxation sounds where, versus, you know, dancing sounds. And you saw how they buy with me. You saw how, how they were able to connect with me. So that kind of connection is something that we have to do before the real 4th of July happens. So instead of them taking direction from 4th of July sounds, they're taking directions of how do we feel. And then they learn to imitate how we feel. And that's the safest, most peaceful, most loving way to introduce any dog around the world with you. The dog have to know how to feel and you have to be the teacher on those feelings. So I hope you enjoy this episode. I think that is going to clarify a lot of things. Thank you, Rio, for being so awesome on 4th of July YouTube channel. Tell people to subscribe. Tell if they have birds, they can subscribe. If they have rodents, they can subscribe. If they have lizards, they can subscribe. If they have uh, guinea pigs, they can subscribe. If they have ferrets, they can subscribe. If they have spiders, they can subscribe. If they have snakes, they can subscribe. If they have squirrels, they can subscribe. They can pretty much subscribe for everything. <laughs> This is an animal channel, people. Energy is about animal. Energy is the currency of all species around the world. Energy is our currency, but what's your energy? My energy is calm, confident, love, and joy. My formula is exercise, discipline, and affection. I love a structure. I think a beautiful place with structure and clean is the ideal home. You know, I think having the right formula and the right rituals and the right symbols, it allows you to stay focused. So my goal, for everybody around the world, is no matter what species you have, that we all develop the same trust, respect, and love with all animals and eventually humans, because my goal in life is better humans, better planet. <laughs>